heat battery energy storage is opening an entirely new market for renewables that's many times larger than the world's renewable deployments today. Welcome to The Switch. I'm Elena Casas. Solar and wind energy now provide cheaper electricity than fossil fuels, but their intermittent nature means that storing that power is a huge challenge. It's typically stored in lithium-ion batteries, but global demand for lithium is expected to outpace supply by half a million tonnes a year by 2030. A new wave of energy storage startups instead aim to store that power as heat. One of them is Rondo Energy and founder John O'Donnell joins me now. John, hi, thanks for joining us. How does it work then? Rondo is building infrastructure for decarbonizing world industry. We do that by building energy storage using actually century old materials, a brick that's been used in heat storage at blast furnaces for 200 years and heating brick the way your toaster heats bread with electrical heating elements. When you put a few thousand tons of brick together and heat it to a few thousand degrees or 1500 C, you store more energy per kilogram of brick than you would per kilogram of lithium ion battery. Rondo says its bricks store energy for days with about 2% loss a day. And they recently announced more than $81 billion in new funding from the European Investment Bank and Bill Gates's Breakthrough Energy, among others. We're joined by the world's largest fuel producer, Aramco, the world's largest chemical manufacturer, Sabic, uh, Rio Tinto, the world's second largest mining company, you mentioned some companies there that are known as big polluters. How much willingness do you think industrial giants have to decarbonize and install and invest in this type of technology? I've been working in this field for some 15 years. I have never seen anything like this situation. Large industrials are earnestly seeking cost-effective pathways to decarbonize as rapidly as they can. Yes, the large producers who today are the big emitters because they're producing the most commodities, those are the ones that in transforming their operations can have the biggest impacts and they are keen to do so. Using bricks to store heat does sound deceptively simple, John. Why do you think this hasn't been rolled out at an industrial scale before? If we want to replace combustion of fuel, we must heat, hit a much tighter economic standard. Not the replacing electricity, but electricity replacing fuel. So until very recently, this class of storage technology wasn't economically interesting. Thermal storage startups are using materials ranging from graphite to compressed air and molten salt to store energy as heat. They all use easily available materials and promise a rechargeable battery lifetime of decades, far longer than conventional batteries. Energy storage is unlocking the transition to go much faster with wind and solar power. Heat battery energy storage is opening an entirely new market for renewables that's many times larger than the world's renewable deployments today. You say go very big, very fast. The world needs an estimated six times its current energy storage to meet targets by 2030. Just how fast and how much are you going to be able to scale up concretely? You know, those targets aren't set high enough. Um, those hard targets really are looking at today's electricity loads. And uh, we see in about a decade eliminating about actually 1% of total world CO2 and if we do our job properly and with, our, with partners, hitting 15% of world CO2 in 15 to 17 years, that is the opportunity. And because it's profitable to do it, because we can do it, there are no materials constraints on going big and going fast. Mm -hmm.